Hey guys, I figured I would just go ahead and open free packs of Battle for Zendikar and go expedition hunting. So, <laughs> wish me luck, guys. So, Zendikar is an interesting set. Yes, you do have full art lands, and more importantly, you have foil versions of them. But for the most part, the value is in expeditions. Looming Spires, Catacomb, this card is very good. Alright, we got a Mythic. This Mythic is very good in Magic Duels, but I don't think it's that great in real life. Definitely not a card that I would recommend specking too hard on. I don't like to see Mythics because I feel like when you pull a Mythic, your chance of pulling... This is like one of the most powerful cards in the Magic Duels. Which I should buy Bruce Packs for, actually. Emissary. Nissa's Renewal. Oh, okay, I thought that was a foil land, which would have been a lot better than Blighted Contractor. All right, cool. Green, green, green. And next pack. So about $10 in packs at retail, probably more, like $4, $12 in packs in retail. And we probably pulled like a dollar of stuff. Okay, Sunken Hollow is very good. So not too bad, not too bad. I forgot that the lands were also in this set. I like it, I like it a lot. And I feel like the this trolled me pretty badly. Because if it had been a foil land and a foil four art land, it would hold value for some time. And I like them as a long-term speculation, but you really have to be in long-term. You have to be in magic for a very long time before you can see a break even Break even to me is it has to at least double so you can buy list it out. So yeah, pretty cool pulls. And let's do RTR next. Bye guys.